Jessica. Where is he? Just stop this, please. You don't know what you're doing. I could say the same to you. I'm saving lives. That's what I do. Adam, Asim, how exactly did you save them? I've let this go on long enough. So Wyatt is under the impression that he is saving lives. Not really sure what he's trying to save them from still. I can't believe these are real. But welcome back to Fort Solace, everybody. This is the final chapter, I believe. I'm trying to figure out what Wyatt thinks he's saving everybody from. Got some cucumbers over here, though. So they're obviously able to grow pretty much whatever they want to on Mars, which is impressive in its own right. So we got strawberries, uh, cucumbers, looks like maybe apples, something. No, these are not. Oh, these are potatoes. We need to figure out this compound 26. We need to figure out all sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff that we still just do not know. Okay, so here's the... Are these the bees? I believe so. Let's remember the... Um, the one note that... Amazing. Even all the way up here. Come on, Jess. Stop staring at bees. <laughs> Time to go. The note that said that they were getting stuck in somebody's suit, which would be miserable. Uh, what else do we got here? It's a really cool. I mean, they've got carrots. They've got looks like lettuce. All sorts of stuff. Ooh, here's something. So they're completely sustainable, like self-sustaining up here. But I'm wondering what they did for water, though. I assume they might have found, like, ice. Progress. It's a funny thing, really. You are so preoccupied with whether you could. You never stop to think if you should. Okay, yeah, everything on here is stuff that we've seen. All right. So everything's automated, too. Looks like this comes through and cares for all of the plants and stuff. Yeah, you think there would be a little bit more urgency considering it's going to be okay focus and calm just like they taught me focused mind okay so there's greenhouse wonder what's up there let's go ahead and just go through here there's more of the greenhouse there's a lot of stuff in here for us okay Maybe we're gonna find out some information here that's all I need. Agro bees. Laboratory report. The results are highly confidential, not for distribution. Signatures must be provided at the end of this report. Compound 19. Data table 1. Growth. Oxanometer. Time. Days. Void. Contamination. Notes. Subject. Contamination. Compound 19 became contaminated due to another bee-related escape. The batch now needs to be created once more. Interestingly, the bees that came into contact remain fine and have been returned to the apiary. Helen Dunpart. Okay. One at a time. It's just gonna dump all sorts of stuff on us all at once. I'm excited. Oh. Is that compound 22? Yeah. Okay. So these 
all the different compounds. Can we see anything over here? Plant modification. So genetic modification of plants. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. It looks like they almost grew too fast. They did say that before where they were growing too fast, right? And then dying off. I think that was one of the issues with the compound that they were working on. What have they created? That does not sound legal. Laboratory report. The results are highly confidential, not for distribution. Okay, so this is compound 23. The compound can sustain growth whilst maintaining a healthy level of nutrients. The food created here has been tested to reveal more advanced traces of the compound. To the soil, it's not acting as the desired catalyst. The formula needs to be revisited. Okay, Helen Dunpart. Interesting, interesting. Is there more here? Okay, this is data table 1B activity. B behavior. Since coming into contact with the compound, we've continued to monitor the behavior of the bees. There seems to be little change other than a slight uptick in activity. Further monitoring is required. Signature Helen Dunpart. Okay. So they're. I don't understand what they're doing with like the compounds and stuff like that. They're genetically altering things to, to make them grow or, you know. This is why they're digging so deep. Prospect, too. Okay. Compound 18. Overgrowth. Some sections of plants seem to overgrow and expire almost overnight. Here the compound is clearly unbalanced and needs recalibrating to meet the needs of the soil catalyst from Planum. So, is this stuff that they're using, like compound 18, compound 22, compound 26, is all this stuff that they're finding here on Mars? Because that's, I think that's what I'm taking, unless I'm missing something, unless I forgot about something, but I feel like that either they're modifying stuff to make the compound or they're finding this stuff on Mars to create these compounds. There's a few different things. What's this here? Oh, what was the code? I wrote down some of the codes. Zero, seven, two, one. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I wrote those down during the first episode. Ooh, there's even a memory card in there. Cool. So this is compound 26. There we go. Uh-oh. I feel like Wyatt's going to show up like any second. So compound 26 is what works for growing things. Okay, there's a picture here. Is this Helen? Maybe it's better if she doesn't know. Brazil, 2078. Dear Helen, thank you for the update. That is terrific news. Congratulations to your team. This does mean we can now move to phase two. I'll inform the team. Have fun celebrating. I'll dispatch a team to collect a sample tomorrow. Jack Stevenson, Terra Research and Development. So I assume that's about compound 26. Um, dear Helen, your site manager and security have been informed of his suspension 
It wasn't easy to push through, but we feel with his removal and your report, it's in all interest to make sure your work isn't interrupted. Come tomorrow, he will no longer be on the site, and my team will arrive to collect the sample. Jack Stevenson, Terra Research. All right. Um, this is from Schmidt. Helen, what we have created can't be shared. I spoke with Wyatt earlier, who feels the same way. When we first started this journey, we wanted to make something that could change lives. Now I fear what lies in that vial is more than just lightning in a bottle. As I'm away for storm season, I have had a chance to reflect on the harm it could potentially do. We still don't fully understand what we have made. It would be irresponsible to turn it over to Jack and his team. They have no intention of using it to create sustainable oxygen here or at other sites. You know it. I know it. Let's chat when I'm back next month. I hope you can see it from my side. Torsten Schmidt. So, Compound 26 is using it to create sustainable oxygen on Mars? Sarah Dunpart. I can't believe you've actually done it. Come home and celebrate. You don't need to be up there anymore. We miss you here. Please come home. So proud of you. Sarah Dunpart. Assume that's her mom. Hello, your package for Sarah Dunpart has been collected. Further updates will be emailed over once transit has begun. You can track your passage using the reference number on the Terra portal. Thanks, Terra Mail. Okay, it's a bad mail package. Okay, here we go. Compiling a new compound this week has meant for a more concentrated measure. As the teams continue to provide us with samples from the site, we look to regulate the growth rate through controlled nutrients. Whilst time runs out for those back home, we are so close to sustaining life here. The work we're doing is... is bigger than all of us. We are beginning to see aggressive acceleration with Compound 26. It seems to be able to sustain environmental hazards as a result. This development has been fundamental in... Ma'am, Dr. Taylor is here again, requesting to come downstairs. <sighs> For the last time, he doesn't have clearance. He shouldn't be here. Yes, ma'am. However, he says it's a question of ethics. Where is he? Boreal region, ma'am. <sighs> okay, so what I'm gathering from this... Obviously, I think it was mentioned before, but time is running out for people on Earth, so they are using this growth uh, experiment with com these compounds to sustain life on Mars so they can, I assume, move civilization to Mars. And through that, something with the experiments that they're doing with compound 26 that caused the accelerated growth rate and it actually working to affect different things and why it seems to think that there is something ethically wrong with that which has caused him to come into this and that's kind of all the information that we really know we don't know what happened to make him go crazy and start killing people or what they were doing that he thought was unethical so motion detected oh no is this where he killed her So this is, oh, that's okay. So that's where he picked that up to, and that's where he actually went and, and killed her. Okay. I don't want to turn around. Okay, he's not in here. That's good. So what were they doing that Wyatt thought was so unethical that it made him, like, see, part of me feels like they weren't doing anything. Oh gosh, got a little bit of lag there that they weren't doing anything that was unethical, that between Wyatt missing his family and just the stress of being up here, he was trying to find a way to like keep himself busy and it just drove him crazy maybe? Or Wyatt is actually onto something and they were doing something that they should not have been, that Helen and them were doing something they shouldn't have been doing 
to uh, accelerate this, uh, these experiments. Where could he be? The Frontier Project? That was shut down years ago. Is that the thing that Jack found the flag of in the first episode? In that uh, supply room whenever he said, oh, I miss peanut butter, which is still my favorite line from this game so far, hands down. Okay, so we got another report over here. The success? So... She did it. Is he after this? For himself? Okay, so the results are highly confidential. All that again. After the success of Compound 23, we now look to create a more streamlined and stable compound in order to share our research with, the Terra, with other Terra facilities, signed Helen Dunpart. So maybe that is what's going on. Maybe Wyatt is trying to take this... Uh, for himself and claim that he did all the research and by killing everybody up here he could potentially get away with it so compound 22 compound composition creating compounds is becoming increasingly harder due to the lower quantities of planum soil we are receiving this sample is of much smaller scale and therefore hard to determine its effects Helen Dunpart so that was compound 22 interesting okay out of the depths and into the jungle it seems where even am I he can't be anywhere else you would think so however I feel like this is a very large space station so of course we did see Wyatt carrying him Look at this place, man. It's so big. That's so cool. So there's the airlock to outside. Some storage containers. Biohazard. I wonder what would be down through there. Storage. Ooh, what's this? Oh, is this the this is this is the knife that he stabbed Helen with. What happened here? That's the knife you stabbed Helen with, and Helen got out of the airlock and then went to the atrium, and that's where Jack found her. Uh, just leaving the murder weapons around, dude. What an amateur. Okay, so there's elevator. Let's not go there yet. I want to see what's over here. If I don't even think we can get over there. Yeah, I think this is a dead end, too. That's okay. This might be a collectible there. This is bad news. Anytime I've seen that logo... Trouble follows. Interesting. So something with Frontier. Right? Is that its Frontier? Yeah. A Better Tomorrow Frontier Projects. A Better Tomorrow is a Frontier Projects initiative with only the best in mind for future of humanity. Yeah. So something with Frontier that she does not like. is the reason they are here. No wonder such an old base is still operational. So it's taking us up to the catwalk. So what does she mean by that? That this is the reason that this is operational? Like the, the research that they're doing? I mean, it makes sense if they're trying to sustain life. beautiful sight, even up here. Alright. So she's still a little nervous. It's understandable, given the situation. Okay, 
so we can go up from here. It's going to be all right. It's going to be okay. So, is this taking us back down to the same level? Oh, it's going to take us to another spot. Okay, I actually got one of the quick time events, um, and <laughs> we stabbed him, and he ran away like a little pussy. I was really worried that if we didn't get that, he would kill us. I would hate. Who's that? Who is that? There's somebody over there. I don't, don't, don't like it. Wake up, Jack. Are you okay? Do you have any idea what I have done? What this has taken from me? Look, I read Helen's work. You, you can report this. Helen's work? You read Helen's work? What about my work? And I did report this to everybody. And you know what they did? What? They suspended me. Me, of all people. They came for me. At my facility, and they took everything. We can walk out of here, tell everyone what we know. These were my colleagues. They were my friends. Then my family. Do you know what it feels like? <laughs> to realize you're never going home again. We can. We all could. That's sweet. But your hand shaking? Yeah. That's the first sign. And after that, it's not good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's got to be this way because you really look like good people. And trust me, I. I take no joy in any of this. Don't just leave him there, man. Come on. You've got to... <laughs> I would not... Have, mm -mm. I would not have just knocked him out. I would have just taken that axe and chopped his head clean off. Just leaving him the opportunity to come up behind us right now. 
they need they need helmets. Where are their helmets at? I know this is hard. Being a martyr always is. But your partner... She understood that. You got a chance to do the right thing here, Jack. How will they remember us? As the ones who saved them from certain death? Or the ones... Who allowed it to happen? They'll name schools after us. Erect statues in our honor. We will become immortalized. And your friend... Her? Shit, man. I can't even remember her name. Ah! <laughs> 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 
sent you a package. Do not open it. Okay? Do not open it. Just take it to Tom. Don't tell anyone, but he'll know what to do. There's, um, there's something I gotta do up here, but, um, Tuck the girls in for me, and, um, give them a kiss. I love you.
Love Accuracy.